Hi guys and welcome to today's class here in Bali, Indonesia. Welcome to this 20-minute intense booty workout. I hope you're ready to feel your glutes and I promise it will burn after this session. If you're ready, we are going to start at the top of your mat. Your big toes are touching, your heels are slightly apart. Palms are facing to the front. And then roll your shoulders back and down away from the ears. Firm your stand, extend through the spine. Breathe. Feel the connection to your mat. And on your inhale, bring your arms over your head, open the chest, exhale, fold forward from your hips. Inhale, come up halfway, extend the spine and exhale, step back into a high plank, flowing it out, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, hips back and up, downward facing dog. Feet are hip width apart, extend through the shoulders and try to extend your knees, bringing your heels closer towards the mat. You can keep your knees bent if you need, that's no problem at all. Inhale, step to the front of the mat, extend your legs and fold from your hips. Inhale, slowly roll up into standing and bring your arms up over your head. Exhale, hands in front of your chest. Samastitihi. Mmm, beautiful. Enjoy taking that breath. And we will start with our exercises in chair pose. Bring your arms up, your hips low, bend your knees. Create one line with your upper body and your arms. Hold this chair pose and then start to lift your right heel off the mat and then switching sides, so left heel comes up, right heel down. Switch to the right and switch to the left. Continue like this, right and left and stay low with your hips don't come up high with your hips engage your thighs engage your glutes stay with me left and right and left and right you can do it left and release chair pose for one more second and then exhale, fold forward from your hips, extend your knees. Beautiful. From this forward fold, we will come halfway up, extend your spine. And then exhale, step back into downward facing dog. Extend your legs, extend your spine. One deep breath. And then exhale, roll forward, bring your knees down, meet me in tabletop position. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Coming into our next exercise, extend your left leg back, bend your knee. And then start to circle your hips out and around for two and three and four extend the left leg back hold it here and then bring your left foot out to the side onto the floor now it's getting intense we will kick that left foot up towards the sky ten times so if you're ready let's go one and two and three nice and controlled my friends five 
bring it up and seven eight almost there one more nice bring it up and then bring that leg back hold it here hovering above the floor great job same thing now with the foot pointing to the back release it down onto the mat and then kick it up for one and for two and three four continue and engage your core so that all the work is done in your glute muscle few more up and up and then bring your leg up bend your left knee and we come into pulses for 15 let's go one and two three four five just tiny little pulses at the top don't bring your knee down towards the mat keep it high and then just give a little kick even higher in the leg one more up and then release your knee and bring your hips back meet me in child's pose release your upper body release your forehead onto the mat stretch out those glutes stretch out your shoulders take a moment to rest on your inhale come back up into tabletop bring your hips up and we will come right onto the other side so bring your right leg out this time, hovering above the floor and then bend your right knee and start to circle your right hip out and around for two and three, big circle for four, extend that right leg and then again you know what's coming, bring your right foot out to the side and place your toes onto the floor get ready for the next exercise kicking up that right foot towards the sky one and two up for three and four five working from the right glute six seven eight stay with me two more and one more great bring that right leg back stay with me release that right foot down to the mat and then kicking up from here another ten and nine eight keep that right leg extended six five again your core is strong it doesn't move we only feel the glutes here and one beautiful bend your right knee coming directly into the pulses no break here hold it for another second and let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten great job five more four three keep the knee high two and stay release your right knee and again come back into child's pose for a few seconds just release the tension in your muscles give yourself a break and a nice gentle stretch take this time to become aware of this moment of your body 
and release any thoughts out of your mind. On your next inhale, you will bring your hips back up and then release them forward coming onto your belly. Adjust yourself as you need and then bring your arms forward, extend your elbows and engage your back muscles. Hold it here for a couple of breaths. We will come into alternating leg kicks. For this we need strong glutes as well as a strong back. So bring both of your feet up towards the sky, engage your glutes and then when you're ready start to kick your feet up alternating left and right, left, right, left, right. Go in your own pace, 20 kicks. Up, 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 up. Nice. And then release, bring your hips back up. And one more time, sit back into child's pose. A counter pose to our leg kicks. Just release for another breath. Amazing guys, we are already halfway through the class, but I have some more exercises for you to really feel those glutes today. We will come back up into all fours, tuck our toes and bring the hips back and up into downward facing dog. Stay here for a few seconds, try to get even deeper into the pose releasing the back of your legs. Our legs are going to have quite some work to do now, so make sure they are nice and warm. Good, one more deep breath in. And on your exhale, your right leg comes up towards the sky, three-legged dog. And then bend the knee, bring your foot forward and step it between your hands. Inhale, arms up, coming into high lunge. Your right knee is right above your right ankle. Your left leg is extended. Go low with the hips and grow tall with your upper body. Feel the strength in your lower body and then dip your left knee down onto the mat and come back up. For two and up, three and up, lunge and up, five, six, stay with me, two more, seven and eight, beautiful, stay in this high lunge, engage your glutes and then exhale, bring your hands down onto the mat and step your right foot to the center of your mat. Now your left foot comes up into supported warrior three, extend both legs and find your balance here. Stay, engage your glutes, engage your back muscles. We will come into supported squats from here. So your left knee is going to come to the outside of your right ankle or calf. Go down as low as you can and then inhale, extend both legs, come back into supported warrior three. Few more like this, let's go down for two, knee comes back up, extend both legs, exhale, come down for three, touch that knee to your calf, inhale, come back up warrior three. Exhale, knee comes down, touch your calf, the outside of the calf, inhale, come back up. And one last time, come down, hold it here, feel into your glutes, inhale, extend. Beautiful, bend that knee, bring your left foot down and release into your forward fold. Stretch it out, take a breath, very good work. I felt that, my friends, but we are not done yet. We still need to go onto the other side and work that other glute muscle as well. 
so when you're ready come up halfway extend your spine and then step back into downward facing dog stay and breathe stretch out those legs stretch out your back and your shoulders and take a moment find stillness on your next inhale bring your left foot up towards the sky three-legged dog hold it here for a second and then exhale bend that knee and bring your left foot forward between your hands find your balance and then on your inhale bring your arms up towards the sky coming into high lunge hips go low left knee is right on top of your left ankle hips are square facing to the front your right leg is extended and then exhale drop your right knee to the mat come up exhale two and up three lunge and up four and up again controlled and slowly six and up two more seven and eight beautiful exhale bring your hands down onto the mat and step that left foot to the center of your mat again find your balance and adjust and then extend both legs coming into a supported warrior three on the other side stay in this pose engage your glutes prepare for the squats and then exhale bring your right knee to the outside of your left calf right foot stays up and extend exhale go low right foot is in the air inhale come back up exhale for three you're almost through keep it up guys and four stay low and come back up one more time five go low with the right knee and inhale come back up so good bring that right knee down fold forward from your hips release your glutes and your legs very very good job guys slowly inhale and roll up into standing bring your arms up over your head open and expand exhale hands in front of your chest samastitihi i'm so proud of you guys you kept it going until the end now just bend your knees Come down into a kneeling position on your tippy toes and then release down onto the mat. Let's close up the practice. Cross your legs in front of you and let's take a deep breath in together. Arms over your head and exhale, hands down in front of your chest. Thank you guys so so much for joining me today for this intense booty workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a comment down below on how you felt during the class and after. And I'm very excited to see you in the next flow. See you then. Bye guys.